Today we're going to talk about upgrading the C-axis encoder on the TC model. This is model SB48TC. Uh, first of all, we're going to show you the original encoder here and this wiring connections. They are marked X1, X0, plus 24, 024. Color-coded wiring. That's the original C-axis encoder. We're going to upgrade to the new conversion kit for the C-axis encoder shown here. Same wiring configuration, same labels on the wiring, same colors, but now we've just got another connection jumper board here, then the actual C-axis encoder, and a mounting square for the back of the control board. So let's look at where the C-axis encoder is located and where it's wired in. I've removed the screws on the top panels already. The C-axis encoder is located under the black cover here. So if we just lift this cover up, you'll see the C-axis encoder. It's sitting there. And now we're just, the screws are also removed from the control panel. I'm going to lift that up and just kind of set it aside. And you'll see the C-axis encoder is mounted by two screws. I've got the old one in place still here. We're just going to remove that. The wiring for the encoder goes from here down through the case to the uh, connections down below. We'll show that in just a second. So let's remove these screws for the encoder. Small Phillips. Be careful you don't lose these screws. One. There's two. Now you see the wiring harness goes through the case. And if we're going to come down here and show you in the case where they hook up on the DIN rail. So the wire comes through, through the case. This is the actual wire. This is the new wire right here. And they're plugged in on the DIN rail, screw type mounts, plus 24, 024, X1, X0, color coded. The easiest way to change from new to old is to simply wire them each wire for wire, take one off, put the new one on, route the cable back through the wire harness assembly, through the cable control here, up through the bottom of the case, and that's what we're going to do with the new board. The new control board, jumper board, is this piece right here. It goes through the case, through the case like we just talked about, and wired in. Here's your wiring connections: 024, X1, X0, plus 24. And be careful to crimp on the wire metal portion, not the insulation, when you install the cable. I've, for the sake of time, I've already done that and ran that cable here and also mounted the mounting square for the new encoder on the back of the panel, on the top of the panel because the wire harness is relatively short and I want to pull that wire harness for the C encoder. So this is a jumper board, it goes through the board, through the panel, through the machine, onto the DIN rail. This is my new C-axis encoder. It plugs into the harness, the jumper board, one way. It can go both ways, but be careful how it's mounted because otherwise the C-axis encoder will not read properly. If it doesn't read, just simply uh, flip, the, flip the connector over and you're good, you're good to go. So I've got the mounting square in place. I've got my jumper board in place. It's wired in the DIN rail. Now I have to just simply mount my C-axis encoder. Again, the two screws here. Number one, number two, make sure those are tight, don't want to strip those either, it's just aluminum cast, okay, make sure your wire tire is secure, the cable harnesses are secure, and not pulling on the cable feed to the encoder itself. Tuck the wire for the communication here, tuck that in. Drop your control board back in, making sure it drops in. Replace that. Replace your encoder cover. And put your screws back in, and you're done.